Hey everyone, Todd here, internalarchitect.com. And in this video, I want to have the discussion about if your cancer comes back, is it worse? Now, this is a touchy subject because there are really dedicated and substantiated reports that the treatments that we all go through in our cancer um, experience have a tendency to do a lot of damage and to create a lot more problems for us down the down the road and into the future. For myself, I had a reoccurrence during in my one year of battling lymphoma. Um, since I was staged so advanced for B reoccurring, because I was staged so advanced in such a short period of time, and my reoccurrence happened at such a quick uh, quick period of time, the type of treatment that I underwent was really quick and available so I didn't see a huge difference in time before I had another reoccurrence. In fact my reoccurrence happened within a 30 to 45 day window. But with that said it still happened and it put me on another course of what kind of treatment I needed to do. It put me into the area where I needed to go into a stem cell transplant and my stem cell transplant doctor recommended that we do an autologous stem cell transplant transplant, which means that we were doing my own stem cells. Um, we weren't going to take on a donor stem cell. And that would have caused a lot of other issues like the graft host disease and, and a number of other complications. Keep your body from rejecting the stem cells donated from someone else. So that was the, the route we went. We went with my own stem cells, and to this point, it has worked really, really well. In the future, obviously you can't predict the future, right? But you can say that, and it, it's safe to say that I'm probably going to have some medical issues to deal with as I get older, as my body ages, and the damage that I took on because of the lymphoma and the stem cell transplant that I underwent will undoubtedly at some point rear its ugly head. I've kind of come to grips with that as far as how I'm going to deal with it men mentally. And uh, my mentality and my mindset is prepared for what is going to happen. I hope it never happens. And if it doesn't, that would be awesome. But I don't believe that will happen. And I think it's a kind of a key thing to understand that knowing that I'm going to have some issues in the future really kind of prepares me for when that time comes. So back to the question, when a cancer comes back, is it worse? I want to say yes, because it adds a lot of other complications to the mix. One, you're going to have a lot of other health issues because of the time lapse. So your age will have an effect on what goes on and how you're able to fight the cancer and how you're able to take the treatment. And then two, it all depends on how active you are and how physically capable you are to handling the treatment as it comes on as you get older. There's that period of time between <clears throat> when you were diagnosed and you finished your treatment for the first round of cancer and then when you had either a reoccurrence or a secondary cancer based off of whatever the chemotherapy was or whatever your bo your body decides what cancer it wants to present itself makes it really hard to define, you know? So that's why I really believe it's going to be worse. It's going to be a harder battle and it's going to be a more difficult challenge for you to, to really to battle it. So what can you do to to really prevent this from getting any worse or when it does come on to making it worse. And I think a lot of it just comes down to being prevention oriented in your mindset and really trying to live a prevention lifestyle. What, what does that mean anymore these days, right? I mean, you see people on diets, you see people being incredibly <clears throat> active and they, you know, they're, they're doing their thing to really make their health as best as they possibly can. So take that in mind where you're 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 needing to do a couple things. You're needing to do one, really be aware of the nutrition that you are taking. If you're eating a lot of junk food, if you're eating a lot of fast food, that is going to really affect your outcome when it comes to a secondary cancer that you have down the road. Two, are you getting enough exercise? 
we should be getting about 30 minutes of exercise a day at a minimum. And to me, I think that's not enough. I feel a lot better when I'm getting at least an hour or more a day. And it don't get me wrong, it is incredibly difficult. It is a very, very hard thing to get that much exercise and to work it into your schedule. We all have busy lives. We all have responsibilities that have to get met. So how do you fit this in? Well, you got to make your days longer. You got to do a little bit more. And that's where it gets really tough because you need to, it, it's something you need to do, but how do you do it? And that's just by, by getting up either earlier in the, in the morning or going to bed later at night and using a little bit of less sleep. So you need to have good sleep also, which leads me into number three. And when you're staying up later or getting up earlier, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to sleep better. So I think it's good to go into a three or a four day a week type of activity schedule. And then just really helps you focus on the sleep that you do get is really make it make it count. And I know that when I sleep, when I exercise and when I'm really active, I sleep so much better. So those are the things that really help a lot. Between the nutrition, the exercise, and sleep, that really helps with my mindset, and that really helps with with being more present in the now. So I think in order for me to help battle the secondary cancers that I am going to eventually have, this is my way of taking care of my body and myself and my mind to be able to fight it when it does happen. Hopefully, it never happens. So, sorry, a little bit of weird rambling going on there. I'm trying to piece how I wanted to kind of really express this this topic to you guys and I think as you kind of start working into pieces and parts of of the lifestyle adjustments that need to happen it will help you in the long term also mentally and it'll help kind of starve off the depression that you might have or even help you work on the PTSD that you might be suffering a little bit from as a survivor going through the entire process so I think that's that covers it for me for now I'll revisit this again a little later but I just wanted to get this down to you guys so that you can kind of think about this a little bit more but if you like what you hear hit me in the comment section below uh, do what you do hit subscribe hit like um, give me a thumbs up and just want to say I appreciate your time and your energy and the watch in the video and you know I'm putting them out uh, a couple a week and keep letting me know what you guys like and I'll keep putting them out and I'm done rambling you guys have a good evening and I will see you on the next video